So right now we're going to take part in a kind of, I guess, fun and serious Q&A of you guys. Has anyone got any questions? Yeah, I do. How do you deal with the negative comments you may encounter online? So this one for me is quite a big thing because as you get bigger on YouTube, more and more comments come in. Um, and at first when I started getting negative comments, I'd always want to respond to that person. I'd always make it my kind of goal to respond and try and put that person back down. And this was like three years ago when you know you get one round of negative comment and I'd always go to that person and I'd be proud of putting them down. When really, if I look back on that now, I'm like, what I'm doing to them is exactly what they're doing to me. I'm just putting them down in a negative way and also putting it out to my audience. So as I've like evolved on YouTube and grown up a bit, I guess that I've realized that I don't have to do that and it's more about just either ignoring them or just deleting them or blocking them, like just removing them, getting them out of my life, essentially. So what advice would you give to your younger self regarding bullying? To my younger self, so I was bullied at school for doing gymnastics. So I used to do gymnastics and I really liked it and I was, I was pretty good at gymnastics. And when I was about 14, people would call me like gay, they'd call me a girl because I'd wear leotards and stuff at competitions. And I was like, oh, it's not cool to do. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop this. I don't, I don't wanna be like making fun of doing gymnastics. And now I think, like, I regret that now, that decision to stop doing that because someone said it was stupid. I regret, so to my younger self, it would be like, if you're passionate about something and somebody is bullying you for that, you know, don't let anyone stop you achieving what you wanna achieve. Like, if you, if you like something, if you're good at something, don't let someone stop you trying to do that or get to your end result or something. Um, so if you were playing Monopoly, what piece would you be? Because I'd be the top hat. I'm always, like, if I'm not the car, I don't play. <laughs> you don't play? I don't play. Why do you like the car? I don't know, because when I was younger, when I used to play with my grandma, like, that was the that was just my go-to. Like, yeah. And I'd, I was always banker as well. I had to be in charge of, uh, like, all cheat? the money. No, I never cheat. I was, very, I was a very straight up player. Like, I was, I stuck to the rules. Okay. So what do you think is your favourite thing about being a famous YouTuber? Oh, that's such a hard question. Um, Getting to be the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doing things kind of like meeting, something that I love being able to do is meeting the people that watch my videos. So the fact like, for example, today I've come to this school. I, I didn't tell anyone I was coming to school, but like I've just met so many people that watch my videos. Like to yeah. me, I'm in a different country. Like I'm in Ireland, never been to Ireland. Like I've been here briefly, but not properly. And I come to this, like random town, Newbridge, and there's people here that watch my videos. And to me, that's kind of amazing that I can interact with these people all around the world. It's the same like if I go to Australia or America, like the same kind of thing. Okay guys, thanks for that. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's a really awesome campaign and stuff. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I may see you on here very soon. Bye. See ya. <laughs>